Hi again everyone, this is Dr. Dan Bachman. Today we are going to talk about why pain comes back over and over. And um, we're talking about cases like, this is particularly true of low back pain, but it can also be true of something like a crick in the neck. You know, the thing you wake up with and you can't turn your head to the side, and it feels like you've got a knife sticking in the back of you. Um, these things seem to come out of the blue a lot of times and usually it's just doing really safe mundane daily tasks like you may just wake up for example and find you can't turn your head to the side and you can't check your blind spot when you're driving or with back pain you may be you know putting dishes in the dishwasher and then all of a sudden your back seizes up and it's a horrible amount of pain you're on the floor you can't get up and then you know maybe you do something about it maybe you don't and the pain goes away and then years go by five years go by ten years and it happens again it's again it's out of the blue and then it goes away on its own Maybe you've even gotten some treatment for it, um, and that seemed helpful because you found, hey, I can move better, feel better, I feel like I got this thing licked, but why does it keep coming back, right? Well, there's a couple reasons. Um, basically, the short answer is, if you have pain that recurs, it means that the same underlying cause of that pain has been there the whole time. And your body's just finding ways to kind of manage it for most of the time and then it's a last straw scenario where maybe you just did a little too much and then you didn't get enough sleep and then you, you had to sit all day on a, on a plane and then that's what tips you off the edge and your back seizes up again and then you're out for another couple weeks or maybe you're getting physical therapy or treatment of some kind and you feel like hey i've licked this thing but the pain came back now here's what i tell my patients so first of all there's an underlying uh, problem that's not being addressed this whole time and if you think of you of having a pain threshold that say like right here and if you're underneath that threshold you don't hurt but if you're above that threshold you do then it may be that you're most of your life when you feel good you're running right here so you don't hurt but it doesn't take much to push you over into pain um, and so that's why it can seem like it hey, I was getting up, picking up my coffee cup and then I seized up um, underlying problem not being addressed now with my patients who we treat and address these things let's say we identify the underlying cause they plug in the fixes they're great and they come back and see me a couple years later the first thing i'm going to ask them is is this the same problem you had before they're like yeah doc it's the same same spot feels just the way it did why did it come back and the first thing i'm going to ask them is have you been keeping up with your rehab homework have you been continuing the stretches or the foam rolling or the exercise that we did last time that licked this thing and almost always the answer comes back well no I started feeling better so I stopped doing that stuff and I said well, guess what you know you don't just get your flexibility back today and then it's good for life no more than you change your oil in the car today and you never have to change the oil again no this these are maintenance tools I mean your body is the vehicle your brain drives around right I mean this is how I take my consciousness over there and that is a vehicle and just like any vehicle it has maintenance requirements and if you let those slide expect to break down so it's it's not a do it once and then forget it thing it's a maintain that thing deal um, so if I convince them they, they hobble in to see me with tons of back pain or shoulder pain and we do the fixes I say this is what it's going to take to fix you they're really likely to do that thing because pain is a powerful motivator but the problem is when the pain goes away, there goes the motivation. So what I'm gonna encourage you and I can encourage all my patients to do is once you've figured out what your maintenance is, and that's something that I talk with my patients all the time about, once you know what your maintenance tools are, do them for life, set them and forget them. Otherwise, expect to hurt again. So I uh, hope that's been helpful and makes sense. If you guys like that, definitely uh, subscribe below, share it with a friend, and we will see you. Oh, also leave your questions if you have any in the comment section, and I'd like to address those in a future video. Hope to see you guys next time.